After 17 years, the Whitby Sports Hall of Fame has its first athlete from rugby. David Moonlight blazed a trail into the hall, but it took some convincing. Originally, he was not at all enthusiastic about the sport, but once he was convinced to try it, his love for rugby was instant. Yeah, I really had to have my, uh, my brother convince me to play. Um, I was, you know, I, I played a bit of hockey and you know, basketball and some other sports. Um, and when I went to Anderson, uh, you know, my brother convinced me, oh, he's, you got to come out and play, you got to give it a shot. And I uh, gave it a go and I was pretty, pretty happy that he convinced me to do it. Every guy has to be able to do everything. So every guy has to be able to pass, every guy has to be able to kick, every guy has to be able to tackle. Um, you know, if you compare that to a sport like football, for instance, where, you know, the offensive linemen, they don't ever really touch the ball. They have no real need to catch the ball. Um, where rugby guys, you know, there's sort of a place for all guys and, and uh, they have to be able to do all skills to be effective. So, yeah. His transfer to Sinclair Secondary School in grade 10 brought about more intense coaching and he was soon learning the game at a higher level. Invitations to provincial tryouts followed. Two years at York University paved the way to a move west and he attended the University of Victoria. His new life on the west coast was key to his progression in rugby. And then, you know, I was supposed to be out there for two years and, and come back here and finish my degree, but a couple years out in the west coast, and, you know, sort of that, that is where you have to be. If you want to play in the national team, that's where you have to be. So I sort of, well, I ended up staying there for her since, well, 2000, yeah. In 2003, a dream of pulling on that maple leaf to represent Canada was finally realized. It was such a thrill to be able to, you know, put on the, put on the Canada jersey and, and get an opportunity to play in, you know, these big stadiums in front of big crowds. Um, you know, my second ever tournament was in Wellington, New Zealand, and you know, in the unbelievable stadium, you know, 30,000 people. Uh, the tournament sells out in like an hour. Um, and one of the other cool things is there's like a parade through the, through the town or the city of Wellington where you know you're on these floats and everybody in the city like I'm not kidding you like it's like all the, the whole city comes out and you know comes and watch the parade so uh, you know for that sort of little week that you're in Wellington I, I, what I would always tell some of my friends is that it's the closest you ever come to you know playing in the NHL. Though retired now for seven years David Moonlight is still tops and tries scored in Canada with 107. I'm not going to have that record for too much longer. A guy named Sean Duke is uh, he's cl closing in on me pretty quick. He'll probably get me uh, he'll get me this year, but certainly he'll get me next year. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's uh, I'm pretty happy with the record. Um, kind of you look at the the list and some of the guys I played against, some of the some of these top guys in in the sevens world uh, that you know my name's beside. Uh, it's a, it's a it's a big accomplishment. Um, you know, and it's something I'm I'm pretty proud of.